kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I will be teaching you, and we will be completing the Secular View adapter. And after that, I will be uh, giving you the demo of uh, displaying all the sources in our uh, in our Secular View. Okay. So before that, uh, here you can see that we in our previous part of the video we had done the uh, model part and after that we had done the uh, we had done the code for uh, retrieving the web service response from the api so, and then we had uh, uh, inserted i mean added the uh, the array list from the response inside our list array list and then we just uh, set up this uh, notify data set change okay so there you can see and after that we just uh, use the notify data set change method inside our load website sources okay so i hope that you are following me and if you are following me then please comment down so that i know that you are following my videos so okay so now we need to complete this adapter uh, with our adapter so for that we need to open our adapter so for this we can simply say we need to open the sources adapter and here we had the context and the sources list then we need to have the source layout for our adapter all right so for this we need to create a new layout resource file and we need to name it as item source and for the constraint layout we need to change it and we need to use the card view and after this we can uh, set the height to 100 dp then we need to have the margin as 8 dp then we can set the card elevation also to 8 dp all right after that we need to use the linear layout and for this we can use a set the width to match parent and height to wrap content and after this we need to have the weight sum as 10 and we need to set the layout gravity as center okay so inside this linear layout we are going to use the circle image view so for the circle image view we need to integrate the library so you need to go to and there we have this so we just need to copy the dependency here so you can see we have this dependency and let's add it to our build dot gradle and we need to click on sync now okay so instead of say 3.0.0 we need to use 2.2.0 and click on sync now
all right so it has it is uh, successfully integrated and after this linear layout we are uh, going to use the circle image view and then we can set the width of it to 0 dp and we set the height to web content and we give it a weight of 2 and then we can have the source let's say mip map ic launcher and then we can have the scale type and it will be center crop and let's set the id to source image okay after that we need to have the text view so for this we can say text view and its high width will be 0 dp and height will be web content then we can say text size will be 24 sp text style will be bold and then we can say margin start will be a dp then we can say gravity to be center vertical and then we can set the weight to 8 and then we can set the id to source name okay so now we have these two things so we go to our sources adapter and here we need to bind our views so for that we can say r dot id so let me first of all open our lift adapter and there we can say r dot id dot source image then we have the circle image view then there we need to have the r dot id dot source name that will be text view text view name and there we will have this butter knife dot bind and then we can say dot item view and after this we are going to okay so now we have binded this with our butter knife library so we need to go to our own create method and here we need to write view v equal to inflator okay so we are uh, going to use the inflator here so for this we can first of all say layout inflator inflator equal to layout inflator dot from and then we can uh, uh, pass the view group dot get context and after this we can say view view equal to inflator dot inflate and then we can say r dot layout dot source item source then we set the view group as the parent and finally we sent false because we don't want to attach it to our root and then we can simply say return new sources view folder and in here we can pass our view okay and finally inside our own bind view folder method we can simply say hold uh, sources view folder dot text view name dot set text and there we can pass our list sources list dot get i dot get name and that is it okay so guys i think that is enough for this and one thing more that we did not use the progress dialog so we need to use the progress dialog for this so in order to use the progress dialog library in our android project 
so we need to open the chrome and we need to type in this i mean you, you need to write this uh, dmax port dialog and there you can see we have this dmax okay so for this we can just integrate it like that just copy it and open your build.gradle and after at the last just paste it down but make sure that you select 0 0.7 because in my case i am not yet using the android x okay so my version is a bit uh, backward so that's why i am uh, not uh, using the latest version of the code okay so now there you can see we have this uh, that api integrated i mean the library is successfully integrated so how we can use this library so first of all we just need to uh, use the alert dialog for it and for this we can simply write alert dialog and the dialog okay so make sure that you select this one android.app okay and after this inside our initialize method we can say dialog equal to new sports dialog and pass this current context and after this after we create this uh, we go into this method so we can simply say dialog dot show and after this and there we can either uh, say else toss dot make text then we can say man activity dot this no so this found and we can print it and for there inside our own response method we first of all need to dismiss the dialog and also we need to dismiss it inside our own failure all right and also we need to print a message main activity dot this error and we can say t dot get localized message and finally we can print the message okay so i think that is enough so let me connect the side sync app so that i show you the output so i already have connected my phone and there you can see the project is now uh, going to run and yes uh, my phone is successfully uh, integrated
all right so now our application is uh, running and you can see that the progress bar was shown and then you can see all the uh, web sources here so I think that is uh, enough for this video so now what we will do is uh, we will click on any of this uh, web source and then we will be able to display the uh, all the news using the swipe api in android okay guys so if you like the video please like it and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye